In this video, we explain the wall breakers. What exactly do they do and how should you use them? Towards the end of the video, we will also bring you some advanced tips, so be sure to stick around. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. Let's give you an introduction to the wall breaker and then we will go through exactly how it works and how to use it. Now the wall breaker does exactly what it says on the tin, it will break walls and it does 40 times damage onto walls. There's a reason for that. If it were to damage everything to a massive effect, then it would be OP on buildings on the outside. Now, I do plan on bringing explanation videos for all of the troops, all of the buildings, and I bring educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos, so I'd recommend subscribing and turning on the notification bell if you want to see all of that. Now, if you want to support me in-game, you can do so by using code JUDO before making any purchases but let's tell you exactly how the wall breaker works. Firstly, I do think it's important we explain the basics of the wall breaker because it's actually pretty complex. It's the reason I chose the wall breaker first in this series. My biggest tip is to think of the wall breakers targeting buildings inside enclosed wall compartments. So if we look at this scenario, placing the wall breaker next to the queen, it will go straight forward to this layer of wall because there is an archer tower that it is targeting. Now, even though the archer tower goes down, because the wall breaker was placed ahead of time, it will still go to that area. And that's something in terms of advanced tips we will cover at the end of the video. Now, moving back to this, because the wall compartment is still standing and we have a building in terms of the cannon behind it, the next lot of wall breakers will still go to this first compartment. But this is where it now gets interesting because when this compartment is down, it depends on where you place the wall breakers too far down to the south here and they will actually go to the other compartment because there are buildings inside for them to be attracted to and they are enclosed within that wall and even though we don't open up this compartment just by re deploying the wall breaker at a different area means it will be drawn to a different building which is closer in terms of breaking open that wall and essentially that is the fundamentals of the wall breaker it is really difficult to use though because of that reason and it's difficult the deeper you go into the base i obviously have some tips for that now because i aim to take out these defenses it makes it easier for me to bring the wall breakers into the center so the next nearest building inside an enclosed wall is the Archer Queen altar. That's where the wall breaker goes. After that, you can notice that the clan castle is the next building. And although it goes down, the wall breakers were already en route to it. After that, again, depending on placement, we can actually get the wall breaker to go all of the way up towards the elixir storage. Look at that little wall breaker go. Incredibly difficult to do, but now that you understand the basics of how the wall breaker works, let's go into a little bit more in terms of tactics for its use. Covering some simple tips first, before we move on up through to the advanced ones by the end of the video. Now it goes without saying, wall breakers, they are incredibly vulnerable. So you need something to tank and distract the defenses. At lower level, that is probably just going to be giants. However, as you get higher up, you might want to use your queen as part of a queen charge. Just make sure the defenses are shooting at her first before you send in the wall breakers and they should be comfortable from there. Now, the one thing you need to take note of is splash damage. Is there a wizard tower next to this which is going to be shooting at it? Or perhaps a mortar shell coming across, you need to time the wall breakers in between so as not to have them get taken out. Now, once you have broken that initial layer, it can be incredibly difficult to get the wall breakers into the next layer depending on the base setup. So what can you do about that exactly? The first thing you can do, although it can be risky if there's splash damage in the area or room for small bombs in the base itself, is just send in multiple wall breakers. Once they break the first layer, if you send enough to then just move forward to the next layer, you should be able to get this because now the wall breakers are situated right on top of the giants, the next nearest building inside the wall compartment is directly in front. 
where you wanted them to go in the first place. So this is one method you can use, but like I said, it can be risky based on splash damage within the area. Another really useful skill for getting wall breakers deeper into the base easier is with rage spells. Now at Town Hall 9 and above, especially if you're doing a Queen Charge, it might be that you can combine the Rage Spell and the Wall Breakers anyways to get much better value. This might mean you don't have to use a Jump Spell, and obviously you can use your spells elsewhere. Now in this scenario, I want to charge the Town Hall. So as part of the Queen Charge, I have the Rage on top of the Queen and the Healers the way you normally do, and I sneak the Wall Breakers through, utilizing the Rage to get extra damage for them and they targeted the air defense that was taken out they were deployed before the air defense went down again that's an advanced tip I'm gonna get to in a second but it is important you know how many wall breakers it takes to take out how many walls so here is a guide courtesy of the clash of clans wiki based on the level of wall breaker and how many will you will need to take down the level of wall under rage like I said, this is obviously less. For maxed Town Hall 13, a max level wall, you only need one wall breaker under Rage. So kind of cool. What about that advanced tip then? Here it is. In terms of whenever your wall breakers are inside a multi inferno range, a Giga Inferno or Giga Tesla, they are going to get fried so the trick is to deploy them early enough so they target that building otherwise they'll go elsewhere but late enough that they don't get hit so notice that i'm delaying the wall breakers i deploy them they target the wall in front of the town hall but the queen literally has one more shot to take that out and the wall breakers are already on route so they are going to go to that area take it out so it's all about delaying the deployment deploy them early enough so they target it but late enough that you take it out and your wall breakers don't then take damage another technique that you want to get into the habit of using is a test wall breaker now this does a couple of different things it one allows you to see where the wall breaker will go but two, and the primary reason, you are checking for small bombs on the outside of the base. This is what people will often use because a small bomb of the same or greater level as the wall breaker will wipe it out, meaning your wall breaker doesn't get to try and open up that wall. So what is my advice to you at actually implementing the wall breakers into your gameplay? We've covered how they work, some basics and some more advanced tactics, but what do you actually do to practice to get them to start to work for you? I would say as a minimum, make sure if appropriate, you wall break the perimeter of the base. That means you can start to practice how they work, get a feel for them, the test wall breakers, things like that, and use a jump spell or an earthquake spell deeper into the base when it's harder to get the wall breakers to go there. That means you should have a bit of security in terms of your attack. Sometimes this might actually be the best thing to do anyways, but you might want to take one or two extra wall breakers just in case you can practice getting multiple layers, combining them with rage spells in order to improve your success. But use them on the perimeter, a jump spell in the center will be the best way to start practicing them. A couple of things I didn't mention is that Golems, Lava Hounds, anything popping from the clan castle could take out wall breakers. So alongside making sure defenses are distracted, make sure you have that clear path for the wall breakers to go through as well. I think it's only fitting that we mention the super wall breakers, my favorite super troop. These are incredible. They can help you practice with the regular wall breakers, but they can also be even more powerful because they will go off irrespective of any damage, anything like that. So you might use one super wall breaker instead of a pack of wall breakers. You don't have to send in a test wall breaker. As long as they get to the wall, which they should, if you follow the principles I talked about in this video about distracting the defenses, then they will go off and they will open up that wall wall now what are the benefits it's far more secure you're not going to lose that wall breaker moving through it can be something that helps you practice for the regular wall breakers and you can use it if you're not quite as confident maybe you're a little bit less skilled i myself use the super wall breakers quite a lot especially in war they can just give you that security and that guarantee that you will get through and open up that wall so i would highly recommend considering them but they work exactly the same 
in terms of mechanics as the regular wall breaker it's just that they're worth eight housing space they will get that wall for you so they're highly recommended now like i said i will be going through every single troop every building let me know what you would prefer to see next and if you have any other tips for the wall breakers but if you do want to see my video where i gave tips for every single clash of clans troop i'm going to link it right on your screen alongside the subscribe button i'm sure you guys will enjoy that and i will catch you guys across there until next time peace out